Hello, my name is Sinead Thompson and I'm a community midwife at the National Maternity Hospital. I designed and created Labour Hopscotch in 2015 in response to an increase in the epidural rates and also in medical interventions during labour and birth. The principle of Labour Hopscotch is to encourage optimal fetal positioning. This means having your baby's head in the optimum position lined up so it can descend into the pelvis in the optimum position for labour. When this happens, it triggers the spontaneous onset of labour. When women go into spontaneous labour, it's less likely that they'll need induction and that means that there'll hopefully be less intervention in their births. The Labour Hopscotch Framework aims to support and promote natural and active labour. It is encouraged for all women, regardless of the care pathway that they choose for their birth, but encourages more natural methods of pain relief where possible for as long as possible in labour. Using the idea of the game hopscotch we all played years ago, each of the steps can be undertaken in, to remain active during labour. The process can start at home, beginning at the bottom of the hopscotch board, when you're more active and mobile. The bottom square of the labour hopscotch is called the mobilised square and it aims at promoting optimal feet position. There are four activities associated with this step and it's important that these four positions are practised throughout the antenatal period in preparation for your labour. Your midwife will explain the positions to you during your pregnancy. Our research findings, which we published in 2019 in our research study, showed that women who practiced labour hopscotch had reduced epidural rates, reduced the caesarean section rates, increased spontaneous onset of labour and vaginal deliveries. And most of all, there was an increase in birth satisfaction rates. Having a positive birthing experience makes a smoother transition to parenthood.